Hey everybody, Brian Goulet here of GouletPens.com, sitting here with a special guest, Chet Herbert of Herbert Pens. Chet, thanks so much for uh, joining us here thanks today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Sure. So we are introducing a new collaboration between our two companies. Um, Chet and I were both uh, here in Richmond, Virginia. Um, we kind of linked up last year. Uh, Chet reached out to me and said, hey, I've got this pen company, kind of new and coming on the scene last year. And I was like, hey, this would be really cool if one day we could do something together. And that day has finally arrived. Yes, it has. So to kind of kick it off, yeah, we just wanted to ask you some questions, introduce him to you all, to the pen world, and get you, him on your radar, um, and then talk about the collaborative pen that we've done together. So as we get into it here, Chet, um, just tell us a little bit about, like, how did you get into the pen world? Like, where is your, is your background in pens or what? No, no, I started um, as an engineer and then moved into fabrication and then kind of into project management. But uh, along the way, when I was in high school, I started using fountain pens when I lived in Germany. And then I, I started using them a little bit more when I, when I got into high school and out of high school. Um, and I got to the point where I, I wanted a really nice pen and uh, I got to where I, I started looking at some of the more expensive pens and I, I had not re ever realized how expensive some of them were. So um, with the, the hands-on experience that I have, I uh, decided to buy a lathe and try and make my own. So that kind of is what got me started. So basically yeah. it's your classic cliche story, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got into pens, decided to start making them. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I figured so, out, you know. Thousand bucks for a pen, I can buy the tooling I need to make my own. There you go. <laughs> so it really started out as kind of a hobby, right? Yes, yeah. yes it did. And uh, what what caused you to then kind of grow it into an actual business? Um, I I saw some of the pens from some of the people that uh, that I still look up to today and own some of their pens. Um, and I really saw some of the art that was in their pens, and, and I'm very artistic and always have been, so I kind of wanted to do the same thing um, and offer some some different things that I had not been seeing. So. Very cool. Who were some of the other craftsmen that you um, Scriptorium to? and Edison uh, and Sean Newton uh, would be the, the top three that I first started to see when I got on the scene. Yeah, um, a lot of people are in like the pen show circuit and a lot of the Yeah, of I had, had not been to a pen show until I think two years ago. So okay. I never really got into that scene much. Gotcha. Yeah. Very cool. Um, so what is uh, like Herbert Penn's kind of known for? Like have you found kind of your own special niche or... Are you still kind of experimenting with I'm different I'm still things? experimenting, but I think the materials really tend to make people stand out. You mm -hmm. look at Jonathan Brooks and uh, Carolina Pens um, with the, with what we're doing with you, with the ribbon pens. That's kind of one of my signatures that uh, really catapulted me uh, into the scene. Definitely. I think that's part of why we were started when we first started talking. Yep. It was like, what would be the good like inaugural pen yeah. Yeah. to be making right. together? Yeah. And the, the paper ribbons, even though it's a very laborious process, it is. It is. Um, which we'll get into in a second. Um, you know, that is something that really I think has, at least in my my view of kind of being outside of your company, that's one thing that's really stood out to mm -hmm. me that, yeah. that you've done. Yeah. Well, I think it's definitely my best selling material yeah so you know mostly you're you're selling direct right so you're Correct. like you're an independent craftsman Correct. you're selling direct mm -hmm. um is this the first collaboration that you done no you did another pen you did i did Papier i did plume. uh papier plume had a 300th anniversary for the city of new orleans which i'm originally from new orleans so that kind of was near and dear to my heart gotcha uh, that was one of the reasons why i actually kind of branched out to looking into larger retailers uh, there you go. when they called me for that okay yeah. and then you got a taste for that and you're like hey this yeah. is kind of cool we yeah. can do some neat stuff here yeah very cool. So then when we started talking, it was like, okay, we're both from Richmond. What would yep. kind of fit? And all of your pen models are themed after you know, places or parts of Richmond, streets, cities, that, and that kind of thing. So um, when we were looking to do it, of course, this one is called The Monument, yep. um, which is, you know, Monument Avenue is a really popular street with a bunch of actual monuments on it, yep. um, straight through the city of Richmond. Um, but the idea of using Liberty's Elysium came about yes. because that's an exclusive ink that we have with Noodlers um, that is very yep. Patrick Henry themed. Correct. And of course, Patrick Henry gave his famous give me liberty or give me death speech, which is not that far from where you make no, these pens. it's in Churchill. <laughs> it's literally uh, right across the street from where my parents live now. Wow, yeah. that's cool. Uh, my wife and I actually got married in St. John, so. Oh yes. my gosh, <laughs> so like super, super yes. significant yes. historical yes. thing. And um, what's really cool about this is you've actually dyed the ribbons with Liberty's Elysium Correct. ink. 
Correct. Which is super cool. So very, 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 um, you know, meaningful, not only to us, to the city, to Liberty, and just kind of the general theme. That's why I've named the pen Liberty. Yeah. Um, it just seems kind of fitting. Um, but then we really wanted to showcase that Coors Goulet Blue is our color. So Correct. lots of meaning wrapped up in here. But it is a very laborious process, right? It is. It without, is. Without getting too much into, like, the proprietary nature of it, um, can you just explain a little bit, since you actually make these yep. materials? And it starts the with the larger sheets of paper that I sourced from Japan. Um, it's kind of hard to get, so I, I do generally order quite a bit of it. Um, and then I take that and cut that up into certain sizes, which I do batches of, and each, each sheet will do four pens. Uh, but I take a, a certain size piece and that, that gets dyed with the ink or whatever pigments I'm using. And then usually this one ha yours has silver in it, so it'll get some silver pigments added to it for chatoyants. Then those are cut up by hand, individually counted. Usually, I think, usually I do 12. I did a lucky 13 on these. So I've <laughs> added extra ribbon, but each pen gets a certain amount of ribbons, and then each one of them individually gets cast um, in uh, Illuminate resin. Wow. So, I mean, it's, it's not super common for manufacturers to actually make their own material. Mm -hmm. Normally, you're sourcing it out from people who more specialize Correct. in that. Correct. So this is like... Part of the reason why this is even more special. Yes. And do you do that for all your pens, or do you do a mix it up? Do you, you make all your own materials, or do you source out others? Or I do source out some other materials. Okay. Um, oftentimes, I get people, um, customers who are looking for specific materials by other other makers, like Jonathan Brooks. Right. Um, is a big one, or um, some other things, other makers like. Um, Mutt Blanks, uh, Exotic Blanks, a lot of different websites out there that have a lot of different materials that uh, a lot of people really don't know about. So I usually, when someone contacts me, I find that that might be the hardest thing for them to do is pick their material. So I'll point them in the right direction or help them with, if they have certain colors or things that they're looking for, I'll get on there and give them some samples, what I think might be what they're looking for. Very cool. And you take custom orders. You mm -hmm. know, obviously we're doing this collaboration, yep. but this isn't this isn't the majority of what you no, do. Normally not. you're doing custom stuff. Correct. And I'm hoping you're not going to end up getting so busy with that after we shoot this video yeah. <laughs> that you'll be too busy for us. But, uh, um, you know, this is this is the inaugural pen that we're doing together. It's a super special thing. Because of the labor that's involved, mm -hmm. um, we're only doing 100. Yep. And we've been talking about this for six months, I think. Yeah. It's been a, yeah. it's been a long time it's, planning yeah. for this. Um, and uh, like, how, how big is your company? Just so people get an idea. I mean, it's, you started it's, last yeah. year. So. Yeah. It's, it's me and one other person. I hired my first employee um, right before we started this run. Um, and I, I have the anticipation to hire uh, one other employee first in the next year and then maybe maybe grow one more towards the end of the year next year. So it's, it's that's, pretty small still. That's exciting, so, man. That's so yeah. cool. It's American dream yes, stuff, you yes. know? That's <laughs> awesome. And it like tugs at my heartstrings too because yeah. that's, you know, I started out making pens. That's where the Gooley Pen Company was founded. We ended up going the retailing route, mm -hmm. but, you know, obviously you're you're kind of living an alternate life that is another yeah. path that I almost went down. Yeah. Um, so it's really cool even just for me to kind of be have any involvement with this with you whatsoever um, so I get to live vicariously through you so that's pretty cool um, but anyway so this pen we're gonna have it available um, with the launch of this video um, I don't know how long we're gonna have it I'm guessing probably not all that long because 100, 100 pens is pretty special we think it's special anyway um, so anyway you can go check it out on our website if you're interested I definitely recommend you go check out Herbert pens um, and check out their Instagram because you're pretty active on yep. there yep. your website all Facebook, kinds of custom options yep. Twitter, yeah we're kind of all over on reddit as well. yep. kind of trying to hit all social media what kind of a backlog do you typically have for custom pens? right now we're running about a year Wow yeah. so that's that's why I think we're gonna be able to pick somebody else up uh, <laughs> to be able to yeah. allow me and possibly um, Corey, which is the first employee that I hired, for okay. him to actually be able to help shift over and we'll be working on customs together and then have people set up for future production runs. Is that pretty common to have that long of a backlog like for, for independent for, pen makers? I think like for, for most pen makers like myself, yes. I know when I, you know, that was going back to where we started, one of the first things that I was looking at was like Sean Newton and some of my, you know, constituents um, have similar lead times and uh, wow. that was where I got very impatient and said you know I, I really don't want to wait that long the pens are beautiful <laughs> but I don't want to wait that long so I'll just make my own yes. why not <laughs> well that's pretty cool and I really appreciate you kind of sharing that with us you know definitely check out more information on gulapens.com check out Herbert pens 
Um, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more like it. Chet, thanks so much for yep. coming on Thank here, you. man. It's great to work with you. Absolutely. We're really excited for this. And um, you know, after this is over, this is a really special pen for us. Um, but I think we're going to be cooking up some stuff in the future as well. So be sure to keep an eye on Herbert Pens. Everybody, thanks for watching and right on. Thank you.